Before we get into the video, I wanted to just tell you about my new three free part video series on how to build a knowledge generation system instead of a knowledge management system. Instead of storing information, I'll teach you how to use MEM to actually generate new knowledge. That's uh, something that I'm working on right at the moment. If it's something that you're interested in, I will include a link in the description below. Now let's get to the video. So the very first thing you're going to want to do when you want to import your contacts into MEM is to assemble all of your contacts together and export them into a spreadsheet of some sort, whether that's Google Sheets or Airtable. And you'll see here that if you use Gmail or anything along those lines, Google has a section called contacts.google.com. And if you go here, you can actually export these into a CSV file because we need to put this data into a format where we can import it into MEM very easily using Zapier and automations. One thing to keep in mind is that when you export this file, it's going to add a bunch of columns with a bunch of unnecessary stuff that you don't necessarily need. So for example, if all you wanted was the email address as well and the, uh, the name of the person or the phone number, then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you delete all those other columns before you import them into Google Sheets or elsewhere, uh, just because then it's gonna be much more of a mess to clean up all of the data. For the purpose of this video, I decided to use Airtable. And you'll see here that I already have the contact info inside of an Airtable database that we imported. If you wanted to import the data they exported from your Google contacts into Airtable, all you have to do is create add or import. You might want to set up a specific table just for this purpose. So what you can do here is you can choose between Google Sheets, CSV file, or Microsoft Excel. If you choose a CSV file, what you want to do is you want to add the data to a new table. It will bring up a drop down, and then you can just drag and drop your contact information, and that will all be right there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Zapier. And when you go to Zapier, you can see here that I have a couple of zaps already set up inside of Zapier to import my contacts into MEM. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to basically set up a trigger that tells Zapier every time that there is a new record inside of this database in this table, specifically on this view, uh, we are going to then trigger a record to create a new contact. Now, why does the view matter? Let's say, for example, that you wanted to filter the number of contacts that you have or filter based on a specific parameter. You can actually create a filter and then filter contacts based on this view, and then it will only trigger the zap when people are inside that view. So for me, for example, it's something like I have a podcast guest uh, for the unmistakable creative. And when their interview is published, I want to create the contact info. Or for example, when you are working in sales, you're trying to build a CRM and you have somebody who is a lead and you don't want to talk, have them in your contact database until you've had a conversation with them. Or for example, you could actually put this into sales stages and mark them as a new lead. It will then create the contact inside of MEM based on that trigger. And if you go here, you'll see here that it will look for the data to make sure that there's something to send to MEM. And one of the things that you want to be careful of, as you can see here, is that I, I made sure this was the grid view. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to reload the records here so that we go back to a different view. And in this case, we've got Josh Spodek. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up an action that brings the data inside of MEM. The last thing you want to be mindful of is the fact that MEM uses Markdown. So if you want the contact tag, uh, card to be formatted in a specific way, you want to make sure that you include all the Markdown syntax. And then finally, when you use tags inside of Zapier and you bring them into MEM, one thing I noticed was that if you put the tags right below the text for the other data that you're using, it tends to not have the tag take inside of MEM. So what we're going to do is we're going to trigger this really quick. And when we trigger this, You'll see here that it will tell you that the action was a success. And if we go into MEM, you'll see there's Josh right there inside of our contact database. Now, the last thing is when you set up this action, you can actually bring in any data that you want. So for example, if this person had a website, this person had a headshot, you can bring all of that into MEM. It just takes a little bit of formatting in terms of text. The other thing that I'll do is I will actually include a copy of these zaps that I've created in the video description so that you can copy them and then just replace them with your own data. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.